Hi, my name is Jennifer McKennis, and I am a Florida ambassador with Count the Kicks for just a few months now. October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month, and it's a very important opportunity to raise awareness of stillbirth and share strategies with parents on how they can monitor their baby's health by tracking fetal movement. I do this work in honor of my son Jonah, who was born in January of 2021, still. We have since learned that he died of a cord accident. We have also learned that sometimes the only advanced notice of an issue with the cord are changes in fetal movement, whether that's an increase in fetal movement, a decrease in fetal movement, or a change in the strength of kicking. And about 48 hours before I deliver my son, we were experiencing what I would now describe as frantic kicks from our baby boy. And we had no idea that anything was wrong. We had no idea that he was experiencing distress. So I have since learned about Count the Kicks and joined them in their mission to end preventable stillbirth. Not all stillbirths are preventable, but some of them are. So in honor of my son and the more than 1,500 babies stillborn in Florida every single year, I hope you will join me in raising awareness of stillbirth. I am grateful for the partnership between Count the Kicks and the Florida Department of Health which is allowing us to bring educational materials to all of the expectant parents in Florida. And our app, Count the Kicks, is actually free for parents everywhere, not just in the state of Florida. So as we work to reduce the rate of stillbirth in Florida and across the US, let's do our part and try to save as many babies as we can. This is for you, Jonah.